actions follow assumptions. So before you take action in your reality, you have to be sure that you're holding the right assumption first because the assumption you're holding will inspire the action you take that will lead to the result you have in reality. So that's what we're doing today. Stick around. I record new Law of Assumption videos every week, so make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment which I always enjoy reading. My name is Headley and I'm a qualified life coach specializing in the law of assumption. For more information on me or any of my offerings, you'll find the details below. I have law of assumption coaching available. I have a free self-concept course and I have a paid version of that course where I will personally take you through it. I also have my book, I Am Money, Assume a New Story and Enjoy More Money, which will completely transform your money story and the experience you have of money in reality. All the details below or at my website, youarethone.com.au. Today we're talking about action and how you approach taking action in reality when you're working with law of assumption. So with law of assumption, consciousness is the one and only reality and reality is the reflection of consciousness. There are no exceptions to this rule. It's like the law of gravity. It is what it is and you're either working with it or you're working against it. So what does that actually mean? It means the stories that you're telling, the assumptions that you're holding in your subconscious mind are what are getting projected out and reflected back in reality. Now, because these assumptions and stories are in the subconscious, they are below the level of awareness. So we are not realizing most of the time what we are doing to produce the reality that we're experiencing. So the more aware you become of your subconscious assumptions, the more command you have over them. How do you become aware of something that you are unaware of? Just look out into your reality. Reality is your feedback system. It will tell you where you're at, not where you think you're at, not the story you're telling yourself that you're at, where you're really at. Reality is your very direct objective feedback system. Doesn't care whether you're rich or poor, but if you're holding the assumption that you're rich or poor, you will get that reflected back. And that is across the board in all areas of your life. Obviously, we live in the third dimension. There is going to be action that you take when holding new assumptions. Keep in mind the action you are currently taking in various areas of your life are being driven by your current assumptions. And that is what is causing the current result. If you are holding a negative assumption, you are going to be taking action that is matching the quality of those assumptions. And that action is going to produce a result equal to that assumption. So in order to change what you're doing in reality, you first have to change the assumption you're holding in consciousness. Everything in your reality follows the assumptions you are holding. We have to start by being clear on what assumption we need to hold first. I uploaded a video where I shared the story of how I manifested a meeting with somebody where I had no contact with them. I didn't have their contact details. They lived in another city. It took me four months to manifest a coffee meeting with this person without making any contact with them in reality. Now I affirmed this for a couple of months. I was affirming every day that I was seeing this person again. I was using I am. If you want to know more, please go back and watch that video. So I woke up and I held the assumption. It was like a decision that I made that I was having coffee with them. That was the assumption that I held. It was very clear. It was very certain. I was absolutely confident that I was having coffee with this person, even though I hadn't been in contact with them since I'd met them once months and months earlier. So I woke up and I affirmed that I was having coffee with them. So from the basis of that assumption, which was based in certainty and confidence, I then moved into action from that assumption. So I got up, I got dressed, I drove over to the area where all the cafes are and I walked around, but I did not walk around looking for them because I had already affirmed that I was having coffee with them. Now, if I know I'm having coffee with them, I don't need to look for them because I know that I'm having coffee with them. I might not know where I'm having coffee with them. I might not know what time I'm having coffee with them. I just know I'm having coffee with them. That was all I needed to know. So I took Dora for a walk into the river. I was throwing the ball to Dora in the river. And yet I'm supposed to be having coffee with this person. And I was like, it doesn't matter. I just know I'm having coffee with them. Right now I'm throwing Dora the ball into the river. We're having a great time. There's no problem. There's, there's no issue here. And then at a certain point, suddenly I just knew it was time to go and I knew exactly where to go. And I got Dora, put her on the lead. I walked in a particular direction with complete certainty and confidence that I'm having coffee with this person that I've met once that I'm not in contact with. Sure enough, I turned the corner. There they were 
just ordering coffee. I went up, said hi, sat down and had coffee with this person exactly as I had affirmed a few hours earlier that morning. And that is the level of precision that these teachings can work for you if you know how to work with them. And of course, using I am because everything is an expression of I am. If I had woken up that morning and gone, oh, I'd so love to have coffee with them. I wonder if they are there. Maybe I'll go and have a look for them. Maybe I can run into them. And then acted from that assumption. I would have been acting from an assumption that I wasn't having coffee with them, that I was hoping maybe I would run into them. But of course, if you're hoping something, it's an affirmation that you're not going to because that you don't have it. It's not happening. If you're in doubt about something, do not take action. Don't do it. Wait, give yourself time to rewrite the script. Do not act from doubt. And if you do act from doubt and it leads to a result that is unfavorable, it doesn't matter because nothing is fixed. You can always go back and revise it. You can't make a mistake with this work. Even if you do act from a low quality assumption or an assumption that is not leading you to the result that you want, it still doesn't matter. You are going to be successful with this work regardless. You're either going to be successful now or you're going to be successful a few moments from now. Doesn't matter. You're going to be successful. But it's just when do you want to be successful? Be successful now by holding the assumption that is going to produce the result in reality that you want to experience. And that assumption has to be one that is based in I am, that is based in the now, and that is based in the end result that you want to experience. So when I woke up and said, I am having coffee with this person, that assumption is based in I am, it's based in the present moment, and it's based in the desired result. I am having, meaning now, coffee with this person. I wasn't holding the assumption, I will have coffee with this person, or I hope I have coffee with this person, or I wonder if I'm having coffee with this person. That is not an assumption that is going to produce the result that I want. That is going to produce the opposite of the result. You're always commanding reality into existence, but affirmations that are based in doubt or questions or maybes are not going to produce the result that you want. They are more likely to produce the result that you already have, which is the absence of what you want. So you want to be very conscious of the assumption that you are starting with first. Hold the assumption first before taking any action in reality, regardless of the situation, regardless of the area of life that you're focused on. Pull back, give yourself some time and space to become aware of the assumption that you need to hold in order to have the result that you want to have in reality, and then act from there. You'll know what to do because the action will become clear once you've decided on the assumption. Whatever assumption you make, the action then becomes clear and then you take that action and it leads to that particular result. Just keep in mind, actions follow assumptions. All action follows assumptions. So you want to be very clear on the assumption you're holding first. We think we're taking action. We think we're taking the right action. But if it's not getting the results that you want, you can be sure that action is based on an assumption that is unfavorable, that is not what you want, that is not based in certainty, that is not based in an absolute infinite knowing that I am the cause of my reality and I am causing and commanding my reality into existence now. Start with assumptions that are based in I am and based in the present moment. So I will wrap this up. Have fun with it. Play with it. Be the evidence in your reality that this works because it does work. It always works and it will absolutely work for you. Please remember you are the amazing creators of your reality. You are the superstars of your show. You are the producers, the writers, the directors, and the actors in your movie. What you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you. Assume the best for everyone in your movie too, and you will have an amazing life. This is my wish, my vision, and my prayer for you. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and have a great week, everyone. I'll see you next week. Bye.